Hello everybody, um, we are team number 7 and we are talking about short term scheduling. The short term scheduling is very important in our process because scheduling can be considered the last link in production planning. Uh, this stage consists broadly in adjusting particular tasks or operations assigned to people and machines. Uh, to better explain the topic, the book presents a very interesting case about Seattle Airport, uh, where it's basically one of the busiest airports international. And it is one of the most efficient in commercial flights, even if in winter they can have up to five inches of water. And the airport Seattle is mainly characterized by customer service offered by Alaska Airlines. To improve flight rescheduling efforts, Alaska Air employees uh, monitor numerous screens that display flight in progress, uh, meteorological charts, and weather patterns at its flight operations department in Seattle. As we can see, there are many signal lights used to indicate uh, different status. The status OK in green needs attention on yellow or the most important, the major issue emergency uh, is in color red. All of these are tools to improve and make more efficient the department and the operations. Uh, Alaska Air's quest to provide passenger and freight service to the state, which is why Alaska Air is more involved in its planning designs than neighboring airports, because uh, have very dangerous runways. And so we can see three examples. Uh, Juneau's airport is surrounded by, by mountains. Uh, Sitka's uh, only have a small runway, uh, which is a narrow strip of land surrounded by water. And in Cardiac, the landing strip ends abruptly at a mountainside. Alaska Air takes the sting out of the scheduling nightmares that come from weather related problems by using the latest technology on its plants and its flight operations department, who is located near the Seattle airport. From computers to telecommunications systems to teasers, the department can reroute flags, get jets in the air, and quickly notify customers of any schedule changes. So Alaska estimates that it saves $18 million a year by using that technology so they can reduce cancellations and delays. Bueno, en español lo que quiere decir es que el departamento de operaciones de vuelos eh, logra con un buen sistema de operaciones eh, poder manejar los cambios o retrasos de los vuelos y las líneas para así avisar inmediatamente a los clientes sobre estos cambios, eh, eficientizando lo, el tiempo y reduciendo las pérdidas. Scheduling flags when weather is the enemy on green packing destination. Uh, so in our company, the weather can affect only if there is a drought or if a shipment of product cannot arrive on time due to the weather oh so only then will it very difficult to carry out effective planning having to modify and specify the activities again so basically if only this happens we have to rescale uh the short time schedule so then I'm gonna talk about the importance of short-term scheduling. Alaska Airlines doesn't just schedule its 150 aircraft every day. 
It also scales over 4,500 pilots and flight attendants to accommodate passengers seeking timely arrival at their destination. This is schedule developed with Hack Computers programs uh, plays a major role in meeting customer expectations. So Alaska finds competitive advantage with this ability to make last minute adjustments to demand fluctuations or weather disruptions. O lo que nos quiere decir es que Alaska Airlines no solo programa vuelos o máquinas, sino que también tiene que programar alrededor de 4.500 pilotos y auxiliares de vuelo para hacer que los pasajeros puedan llegar a tiempo a sus destinos. Entonces, esta programación permite que se puedan hacer estos ajustes de último minuto, ya sea por demandas comerciales o bien la mayoría del tiempo por el clima que se presenta en este estado, así aportando mayor valor a la compañía. Pero todo esto es mediante un sistema avanzado de programación. The strategic importance of scheduling is clear. Internally effective scheduling means faster movement of goods and services, through a facility and greater use of assets. The result is greater capacity per dollar invested, which translates into lower cost. And externally, good scheduling provides faster throughput, added flexibility, and more dependable delivery, improving customer service. Lo que nos quiere decir es que internamente la programación efectiva se ve reflejada en el rápido movimiento de los bienes o servicios y la capacidad de hacer que esto funcione mediante las herramientas. Para así tener un resultado de más capacidad, lo que se puede traducir en menores costos. Y externamente la buena programación puede proveer eh, mayor flexibilidad y mayor atracción para, el, para los clientes y se puede ver reflejado en el mejor eh, servicio de atención a los clientes. So then, the importance of short-term scheduling and green packing coordination. Well, an effective scheduling of activities increases productivity and reduces time and operation costs. So we must be careful and not make any mistake that may cause delays in the delivery of our product. Our, okay, our process, our process not only depends on machines, uh, it mostly depends on people who have assigned activity, uh, which is very important. The system or the tools for short-term scheduling eh, para que se lleve a cabo lo implementado en el proceso. Si bien todo depende de la contingencia que estamos pasando ahorita, como todos sabemos, entonces es muy importante la reprogramación que se está haciendo para para lograr concluir el proceso. Entonces, no solo vamos a seguir con esas actividades, sino vamos a, a implementar nuevas actividades para, de alguna manera, poder llegar a, nuestro, a nuestra meta final, que es donar el producto. issues. The image shows that a series of decisions affect scheduling. Uh, scheduled decisions being with planning capacity, which defines the facility and equipment resources available. Capacity plans are usually made over a period of years as new equipment. Uh, so we have organization and managers to schedule the following. Uh, we have Alaska Airlines, Arnold Palmer Hospital, University of Alabama, Enway Center, Lockheed Martin Factory, 
Uh, the managers schedule the following uh, are, for example, in Alaska Airlines, the maintenance of aircraft and the departure timetables, the flight crews, catering gate, and ticketing personnel. Uh, in Arnold Palmer Hospital, can be operating operating room use, uh, patient patient admissions, nursing security, maintenance staff. In the university, uh, could be classrooms and audiovisual equipment, uh, a student and instructor schedules, or courses. In Amway Center can be users, ticket takers, food servers, arena football, magic games. And the last one in Lockheed Martin factory could be production of goods, purchases of materials, workers. So these are all the decisions. So can't affect the company and can affect the manager of the short term schedule. It's not only machines or people, it's often um, manage the department or areas of the company. So short term schedules then translate capacity decisions, aggregate intermediate plans, and master schedules into job sequence and specific assignments of personnel, material, and machinery. In this chapter, we focus on this last step, uh, which is scheduling goods and service in the short run, that is, matching daily or hourly demands to a specific personnel and equipment capacity.